Alright, it's Henry again, <clears throat> and today I'm going to be starting a series of videos just showing off some of my favorite Gunpla kits. And I guess today is going to be the Master Grade version of the uh, video series. So I've picked out five Master Grades that uh, I, I actually had to think about it for a while to really come up with my five favorite Master Grades because I've built so many and I like so many of them that uh, picking one through four wasn't really that bad, but I had a tough time picking a fifth one, but I did finally uh, get them all sorted out. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. First off, I've got the Master Grade Gundam Alex, or the NT-1. Now this is an older kit. This came out in 99 or 2000, somewhere around there. and. Uh, the reason this is one of my favorite Master Grades is simply because it was my very first Master Grade. And to be honest, I uh, went into the hobby store. It was actually a comic book shop and they had a large selection of uh, Gunpla there. And I had I'd been into Gundam for about a year and uh, all I'd seen at that point was Gundam Wing because I'd watched it on Toonami. Toonami uh, hadn't yet shown Mobile Suit Gundam or the MS Team or any of that stuff yet. And I wanted to get a Master Grade. And I wanted to get, uh, I was actually wanting to get the RX-78 too, the original Gundam. But at the time I didn't really know the difference between RX-78 too and Alex. So uh, I mistakenly got Alex instead. But in the end I'm really glad I did because uh, I like Alex better than RX-78 too. It's just a really nice mobile suit design. And uh, it's a lot better kit than the RX-78 II uh, version 1.0, which was my other option. I do remember seeing that kit in the comic book store at the time. But uh, also I think part of the reason that I like this uh, design so much is because it was my first Master Grade. I think it's just really grown on me and I have uh, fond memories of snapping it together uh, right after buying it. So, anyway, that's uh, Master Grade Alex. Now, these aren't really in any particular order. Like, Alex isn't necessarily number five on the list. So, I'm just showing you five kits, not necessarily in order of which ones I like the best. Next up is the Master Grade RX 782 Gundam One Year War version. Now, I just said that I like the Alex better than the RX-78 too, but I do really like the RX-78 too a lot just because of its simplicity. And uh, the One Year War version I think is my favorite version of the RX-78. It's a little bit panel line heavy for my taste, but everything else about it I love. Uh, I actually like the fact that it doesn't come with a core fighter because up until Gundam uh, 2.0 came out, you couldn't have an RX-78 that had torso movement and still have a core fighter. All of the RX-78 kits were had no had waist rotation but no torso movement whatsoever. And the One Year War version got around that by just omitting the core fighter, which I don't really mind because I never have the core fighter displayed anyway. So um, this was a really nice kit to me. I actually bought this kit when it first came out, the uh, original PS2 version of the kit. But uh, as you can see, I painted it in the normal RX-78 colors. And just overall, a really good kit. Very, very poseable. And I love the design. It's almost, it, it looks just like the perfect grade RX-78 II, only with a lot more panel lines on it. And I think that's one of the reasons I like it so much. So, that's one year war Gundam for you. Next up is the Master Grade Wing Gundam. You knew there had to be a Gundam Wing kit in here. This is the only one though. And uh, I've built I've built all of the Gundam Wing Master Grade so far except for Wing Zero Custom. I have the kit, I just haven't built it. And I think out of all of them this is probably my favorite just because I like the Wing Gundam so much. I like Wing, Z Wing Gundam a lot better than Wing Zero. Uh, just, I don't know, I just like it this design is a bit more simple than uh, the Wing Zero. It's got actual wings instead of those funky wing pods. And I just, I like it better than the Wing Zero. That's all I'm saying. And I was absolutely thrilled to death when uh, they finally announced a Master Grade of this. You can actually go back and watch my Gunpla update video from 
uh, February of what 2010 I think when this kit was announced and <laughs> yeah but uh, definitely one of my favorites has a great inner frame great gimmicks really nice articulation the wings were well done everything about this kit was well done in my opinion so definitely one of my favorite master grades uh, I like it so much that I actually bought a second one so I can paint it up and make it look better this time because this one's just a spray can paint job and I wanted to have another one so I could uh, paint it up with the airbrush and make it look a bit nicer. I'm going to put him over here. Alright, next up is the Master Grade Unicorn Gundam. Now this kit does not get a lot of love. Uh, a lot of people just downright hate this kit just because of the transformation and because it's not as poseable as Gundam 2.0. Uh, but I actually really like it because I love the design. Uh, ever since I first laid eyes on the Unicorn Gundam, I just fell in love with it. And I think it's a really, really nice mobile suit design. And the transformation can be a little bit tricky at first, but once you've done it a few times and you get the hang of it, it's really not that bad. I mean, uh, go check out my Full Armor Unicorn Master Grade review and I'd transform that thing like a breeze. But uh, I just really, really enjoy it. In fact, uh, I have four of these. <laughs> I have the original Verka. Actually, I have two Verka unicorns. Uh, one of them I painted in the original colors. The other one I painted in... I had to get a conversion kit to turn it into Banshee. And then I got this one, which is the HD color version with the MS cage. And then just recently I got the full armor unicorn. And I have plans to buy one more. I will be getting Master Grade Banshee, so I think my grand total for Master Grade Unicorns is going to end up being five, because I don't really intend to buy any more after that. But definitely one of my favorite designs and one of my favorite model kits, because it just looks fantastic in my opinion, and just a really great display piece. So the last kit on my list, I actually had to think about, and uh... I finally decided on it because I couldn't think of any other kit that uh, I would want to put in the top five. And it's the Master Grade Sinanju. And anybody who's built this kit knows that it is a fantastic Master Grade. Uh, might be the best Master Grade band I've made, I don't know, that just comes down to your opinion, but definitely one of the best Master Grades band I has made. And, uh,. <clears throat> Like I said, I was thrilled when they, they announced this kit. I bought it as soon as it came out, built it and painted it. But, like I said, that, uh, that was back in, what, 2008? Yeah, came out uh, Christmas of 2008. So it's got a old paint job on it with spray cans, and I think I can do better. So this is another one of those kits where I want to buy another one and uh, do a better paint job with the airbrush on this guy, because... It's just such an impressive kit that I want to give it my absolute best and uh, be able to put that on my display shelf. So, really, really good job on this guy. So, I guess that about does it for my top five Master Grade Gunpla kits. Uh, if you want to let me know what your top five kits are, then by all means, uh, leave a comment. Or, if you feel like uh, doing something like this and making a video response, feel free as well. I'd love to see those. I'd love to watch them. So that about does it for this video and with that I'll see you guys next time.